Today I want to take a look at how we can use a program called Carbon Copy Cloner to back up our photographs on a Mac computer. Now, if you're using a Windows machine and you want to know how to back up your photographs, I made an earlier video on how you can use a program called SyncBack to do that. You can find that by clicking up here in the corner of the video. Now, for Mac users, we're going to use a program called Carbon Copy Cloner. It's linked down in the video description and it's super easy to use and it's really awesome for taking the contents of one hard drive, whether it's internal or external, and copying it over to another hard drive. Now, before we get into how to use Carbon Copy Cloner and how to back up our photographs, it's important first to mention how important this is. A lot of photographers really overlook the importance of backing up, and in doing that, they put their photographs at risk. I've seen a lot of hard drives die in the past years, and it usually happens very unexpectedly and with little to no warning. So I recommend to all of my students that they have three different hard drives with all of their photos on them. Two is great. Two is a great place to have your images if you have one external and another external. The problem with two locations is when one of them dies, all your images are only one place. And unfortunately, I've seen a couple instances where someone's been very good, very regimented in backing up. They lose one of their two hard drives, and in the process of copying the data from their last surviving hard drive over to a new one that they purchased, they lose everything because that surviving hard drive dies. It's happened a couple times. It's rare, but it does happen. So my recommendation is as a photographer that you store all of your photographs three different locations. That could be an internal hard drive and a couple externals. It could be three externals. It could be a cloud-based storage. There are lots of ways to do it, but make sure that your images are multiple locations, preferably three or more. Now, the nice thing about Carbon Copy Cloner is it does a really nice job of copying all of our data from one hard drive to the next. And what it does is it only copies the things that have changed since the last time you backed up. So the first time you back up, essentially what's going to happen is the backup drive is going to be made to look exactly like the main drive. Now, it's worth stopping here for a moment. You need to make sure before you run Carbon Copy Cloner that you understand that if there's anything on your backup drive that's not on the main drive, it's going to be deleted. Carbon Copy Cloner is a cloning software. It makes the backup drive look identical to the main drive. So preferably this works with a brand new backup hard drive, something that you just took out of the box or have not used yet. If not, just understand that it's going to be wiped clean and replaced with what's on the main drive. Now, using the program is super straightforward. All we want to do first is make sure that the two hard drives, the source, the thing that we want to back up, and the destination, the backup drive, are both plugged into your computer. From there, we can come down here to Carbon Copy Cloner and open it up. And that takes us into this view. Now, from here, it's very, very straightforward. There are essentially three main things that we have to set, and then we have to hit the OK button. Very, very straightforward. The first thing right here is the source, and the source is what it is we're looking to back up. Now, that's just going to be your main photo drive. Now, this is my wife's computer, so her main photo drive is called Sarah's main photo drive. So I'm going to choose that as the source. It should be noted, if you don't see your hard drive listed here when you click on this source area, it's probably not plugged in. So want to make sure your drives are plugged in first. So I'm going to choose Sarah's main photo drive as the source. And again, that's what it is you're looking to back up. Second thing that we're going to check, remember there's only three, is the destination. This is where you want all of that data to get cloned over to. I'm going to click in this select destination box and I'm going to go to Sarah's photo backup. Now, Sarah has named her hard drives to be very convenient and understandable. If you do have hard drives with the name like My Passport or something like that that the manufacturer gave them, feel free to rename them. Just do that before Lightroom has any links to photographs because Lightroom will get a little angry if you do that. So we set our source, we set our destination. The third thing is we want to turn off this little thing that says safety net. What safety net does is it essentially makes it so that if you delete any photos off of your main drive after you've backed up, if safety net is on, 
Say I take 5,000 images and I delete them off of the main photo drive because I don't want them anymore. I have cleaning up my Lightroom catalog and I just decide I don't want them. When I do that, if safety net is on, it won't delete those 5,000 photos from the backup drive, which means essentially you have different numbers of pictures on each hard drive. And that can get really, really confusing. So we wanna turn this off so that if you delete 5,000 pictures off of the main drive, it will also delete them off the backup. Works super smooth that way. So we turn that off. I don't deal with any sort of scheduling. I work on a laptop. So the chance that both hard drives are plugged in at like 3 a.m. on a Sunday are really, really low. So scheduling is not for me. All we got left down here is to hit this clone button. And that's gonna copy everything from the main over to the backup. Now I wanna point out one thing once we do this because a potentially terrifying error message is gonna pop up. It's gonna say, hey, this task may delete things off of the backup photo drive. Well, we know that, right? Anything that's on the backup drive that's not on the main drive is going to get deleted. So you've got to be aware of that when you're doing this. All right. So we can ignore this. We understand that. We know that that's going to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel here. Uh, in reality, you would hit run now. It would scan both drives and copy over the information that is not on the backup drive already. So I'm going to hit cancel, but that really is all there is to it. You set your source, you set your destination, you turn safety net off, and you hit the clone button. And from there, you're good to go. So the final thing I wanna mention is how often should you back up? A lot of people ask me that question, and I usually turn it right back around at them and say, hey, how much are you willing to lose? If you're willing to lose a month of your photography, then back up once a month. If you're willing to lose a day, back up every day. Me personally, I back up my images every single time I import. So as soon as I import a memory card full of images, the first thing I do is back up, and then I go and format that card. And that way I know I'm safe no matter what happens. For other people, their risk tolerance is a bit higher. They might wait a week, two, maybe even a month. But regardless, it's very important to do this. So again, Carbon Copy Cloner, super easy. There's a link down in the description if you're looking to download that or get that program. Uh, if you're on a Windows machine, like I said, uh, I made a video on that a couple weeks ago. Go back to the beginning of the video. It's also down in the description as well. If you liked this, found it helpful, I'd really like you to hit that thumbs up button. It helps more people find these videos. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below. And if you want more videos like this on Lightroom and Photoshop and camera related things, hit that subscribe button because we're coming out with videos every single week.